Now I will show you how to show catalog item variables on notification using email script. First, I have created one catalog item in that I have two variables. One is requester name and another one is state. State is the select box type and requester name is the reference type. Question is nothing but label and here name is nothing but backend value or value. Now come to notification. Here I created one notification. This notification will run only on this catalog item only. Here I put condition as item is custom catalog item one because else because we here we are selecting requested item. If we didn't give any condition here, it will run every time. Like whenever the request is created, this notification will trigger. But we want this notification will be trigger only this condition is met. And select your condition as per your requirement and now come to what it will contain. Here I given as subject and here message HTML means this is the body, body of the notification. If I given something like notification body and I am saving this and click on preview you will get this is a subject and this is a body this is what we have done but we are not we will not get from here we will not get the variables from here for this we need to call email script Okay, mail script. The syntax for mail script is dollar Now I will show you how to create mail script and how to add mail script name here. Here create one mail script and give the name as don't use space in between words. Okay. Use underscore or dot. Here I am using like custom underscore catalog underscore item underscore variable. Copy this whole thing and save this and copy copy this email script name and come here and paste in place of this syntax mail underscore script underscore this one here now save this notification now come to the email part here we first we need to get the variables get variables first get the variables where requester is equal to current dot variables dot here variables first I am getting the variable variable of requester name go to the requester catalog item go to the custom our custom catalog item and here the backend value of requester name is u underscore requester copy this and come here and paste after the variables current current means current record here our current record is a requested item record okay in this table requested item table we will uh, get the current record current dot variables dot paste the here paste this this backend value name is the backend value and here question is the label we want this backend value request a name request a name dot get display value I'm using get display value because it is a reference type that's why I'm using get display value and I am getting this same way 
एट हियर द बैक एंड वैल्यू ऑफ यू स्टेट इज यू अंडरस्कोर स्टेट यू अंडरस्कोर पेस डॉट गेट डिस्प्ले वैल्यू गेट डिस्प्ले वैल्यू हियर आफ्टर दैट दिस इज वी आर गेटिंग वैल्यू ऑन स्टोरिंग इन स्टेट बट वी नीड टू प्रिंट दिस बिकॉज it it won't print the value for for printing here the syntax is template template dot print here the uh, say template dot print means out, out prints message to the email body okay here first we are getting requester requester and then we are getting state okay state and now save this save this mail script and come here i already raised one request for now i am raising one new request our requester name is system administrator and state is new i am selecting state as pending and submitting the form Here my request number is one triple zero three. Request number. Okay, I'm clicking here, and my RITM is one triple zero three. This is also my RITM one triple zero three. Now come to the notification and click on preview, and give your number here. One triple zero three R T one triple zero three. Here we are getting variable one as system administrator and state as pending state. Okay, but we want like we want in another new line. For this we need to use break break tag template dot print in string we need to give break tag b r b r is a ब्रेक टैग बी आर मीन्स ब्रेक टैग इन हिस्स टी एम एल ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन कॉन्कैटिनेट ऑल्सो लाइक कॉन्कैटिनेटिंग रिक्वेस्टर नेम इज इक्वल टू दिस वन वॉट वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग वी आर स्टोरिंग यूर रिक्वेस्टर नेम एंड आफ्टर ब्रेक In state also, I am concatenating with state is equal to this one. Okay, and save this. And now come to the notification and refresh, reload the phone, reload the record, and click on preview. Here we are getting request and name is equal to system administrator and state is equal to pending. Okay, this is a way we can get the catalog item variables on uh, notification using email script. I hope you like this video. Thank you.